Stay dead. Stay dead. Man, they were just having pizza, and I came in here and freaking killed them. Hey everyone, here we go again with another uh, map by Sir Whiskey. This one's called Disruption. Um, this one's a, a lot better than the other one, I would say, at least in some aspects. In other aspects, it has issues, of course, and I want to go over those as well as critique some stuff and maybe uh, even just give an overall kind of mini review of this map. So starting off, of course, you start in a room, you jump in past event, just like the previous one. And in this one, one of the first things I noticed is that everything is a lot quieter and there seems to be no music, which is a huge uh, bonus considering like the last map was very, very loud music to the point to where I couldn't even hear myself think. Um, and I had to basically mute the game to play it. This one seems to be going too far in the opposite direction, but that's completely fine. There's no real big deal. Um, it just gives the map a little bit more of an eerie feeling. And again, it's not a huge deal. And I imagine it's easily fixable, but it's not really worth fixing. Um, now, uh, the second thing that I noticed right away too was the doors. The doors are very glitchy on this. The doors work totally fine, but visually they have these purple cubes on them or whatever. I'm not really sure why that is the case. Um, I couldn't even give you a, a hint or a theory as to why this is. I imagine it's not like this on PC or something like that, and this is probably just some kind of weird quest issue of some kind. Let me do know. Uh, let, let me do know. Let me know if you guys have played this on PC VR or something like that, and the doors weren't like this, um, because I'm curious if this is just a quest issue or if it is a PC VR issue. Or just an overall issue or whatever um but yeah it it was a little bit disorientating and the more i looked at it the more it kind of made me sick because they almost seem to move and float off of things really weird um so i tried my best to not really look at doors that much and again this probably isn't really even their fault anyway because this is likely um an issue with just some kind of quest optimization and some kind of bug or something like that or it could be as well just that's how the model is for some reason and it's just there's nothing to be done about it unless you make your own model which I'm not sure if they can even do um, another thing too that I noticed uh, as well is there's a lot of different paths in the gameplay you're watching right now this isn't even the main direction I'm supposed to go this isn't the way I'm supposed to go this is just some random path that I can take it leads to a dead end with a wet floor sign and everything like that and a funny little clipboard that's like oh it's under construction uh, more to come soon or whatever else like that which is kind of a, a fun little thing and that's something else too is there's a lot of clipboards throughout this map that have different bits of lore and information and stuff like that in and that's a lot of fun um, to kind of find in a map as well um, and it makes it feel more like it's actually properly part of Bone Lab and not just some random modded map or something. Something else I noticed as well is that there's a lot of different, um, there, there's a couple of weird things that they do with the NPCs on this one. Um, that they, they seem to just spawn and then come towards you rather than already being spawned in. Some of them seem to already be spawned in and then there's more that will spawn in, um, which is a great way to optimize the game. This one wasn't very laggy at all. It was nowhere near as laggy as the last one. Um, so that was obviously a huge bonus and everything like that. Another thing too that I noticed is that sometimes when I killed the enemies, they would despawn and sometimes they wouldn't. Again, I think this is just an issue with the SDK where they just sometimes or do it, but most of the time they just don't i really don't know what causes this um but i don't know nothing to say there really i suppose the first clipboard you see is uh does specify that some of the security may be armed um but throughout the entire game you don't face a single bullet um from an, an actual guard you do face a turret at some point which is kind of interesting and it, it definitely a, a pretty cool change from just the same enemy over and over and over and over again um and i think that's pretty cool i, I would love to see more enemy diversity i think in um uh, future maps from this creator because right now it seems like they're only using the security guards for some reason i don't know if it's just because that fits more to the lore that they're trying to share and the story that they're trying to do for these maps but it would be interesting to see you know more enemies besides just th the security guys and a couple of crablets and vents and stuff like that. Maybe we can have some of the no more null bodies and stuff like that. The first map had a lot of 
different enemies because it had different null bodies and the ones that actually throw orbs at you and all this other stuff. But this one just has security guards, uh, like I think a single crablet and then the turret, of course, which none of that is really that hard to deal with. And again, this isn't really a fault of the map creator, but Bone Lab is just so easy that this map is just a breeze. Honestly, if I like if I went to go play through it a second time, I could probably beat it in under a couple of minutes because it's it's obviously short because again, mod, map making, mod making like this, you can't make super long levels because it won't it probably wouldn't even run on a quest. Stretching it out long wouldn't I probably wouldn't help out the map too much anyway because you it starts to get repetitive about at the time that you actually finish the map. So I, I'm fine with the length of this one especially since there's other paths I can go and that kind of seemed to stretch out things a little bit more. Um, but uh, well, another thing too I will say is that the actual ending of this map versus the other ending from the, from the previous one I did, um, it's actually a lot more obvious that it's the end because it actually puts the creator's name and logo up there on the wall and everything like that. And there's some clipboards saying thank you for trying out the map. It says that it took them about 20 hours to complete it from conception to building and testing and testing, etc. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, honestly, like uh, kudos to them. I, I honestly, if if this was my map, I probably wouldn't touch it at, from this point. Even even if I knew the doors were like this, and even if I could fix it, I probably would just leave it alone because there's not really much much point in it. Especially since uh, I could just work on more maps and stuff. And I'm assuming that's what this creator is currently doing is working on more maps and stuff. Or at least I hope so because uh, like until the game actually updates and we actually get more content from the actual base game itself um or until the sdk is actually finished it's gonna be people like like this like sir whiskey basically that prolong the game they they're gonna they're gonna keep the game going they're gonna keep it alive um and playable for a really long time um because r r how how bone lab is right now um and the reason why i named the last video i finally have a reason to play bone lab again it's because th there's not really much of a reason to play bone lab right now i've done beat the campaign like 20 times now 30 times i don't even know how many times i beat the campaign i did it with one one arm i did it with um with like trying to carry crablets through the whole thing i did it with um with uh, a pacifist run i've done i've done all kinds of different ways of beating this game and everything so i hopefully when the sdk is finished and we finally get an, uh, the final update for this game um people will be able to make maps a lot easier i'll, I'll even throw in some more maps in there because right now I i've done a couple before and before in the past but right now i really don't even want to touch any of them or try to make one again until the sdk is finished because it's just such a nightmare to work with um especially since there's so many things that you have to consider and work around there's all kinds of weird things like that but anyway i feel like i'm rambling now the map is super great i love i love the 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 lore the clipboards um there is one more thing i suppose i could mention real quick and that's there there's a pit towards the end of the level as well that it, it, you're supposed to use the ladders to kind of get across but you could also just turn into the tall avatar and just climb like literally just walk into the pit and then just climb up um obviously again this is something that they could fix but again it's not really a big deal it's 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 simple. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that because it greatly helps out the channel a ton, and I very much appreciate it. So yeah, do all those things like that, and remember most importantly to stay asleep.